Coming up in this video, I've got a very simple kind of mojito flip, but not, there's a bit of a crazy mojito flip using a Whitley Neal's uh, gooseberry flavoured gin. Stay tuned. Hey, drinks fans, I am Steve the Barman, and I'm hoping these videos help you drink, serve, and enjoy your favourite drinks even more. If you're sitting at home or if you're in a pub and bar and you've got a bottle of, say, Gooseberry Gin, Whitney Neal's Gooseberry Gin, you're thinking, what can I make with it? These videos are for you. In this video, I've got a very kind of simple flip up on a traditional mojito, uh, kind of a little bit of elderflower going in there as well. Absolutely delicious. I'm gonna show you how to make it. Uh, but before we do, Yes, two things to mention. Yes, you could call this a gooseberry and elderflower mojito, but I'm really rubbish at naming cocktails. So I want your help uh, to come up with a name for this drink. Stick that in the comments below. And as always, big shout out to my uh, Patreon uh, guys. Uh, thank you for your ongoing support. More about that at the end of the video. Right, mojito, I'm gonna make it. I always go mojitos in tall straight glasses. They just work. First ingredient, as always, is a lime hard surface, give it a roll, get all that juice loose. Juice loose. Uh, and then, depending on how juicy the lime is, I traditionally sort of say uh, the whole lime. But if you want to use three quarters of a lime, that is up to you. Get all those lime wedges squeezed in. Perfect. And you should end up with a decent amount of juice in there. The next ingredient you want is your kind of sugar. Now, traditionally, you would go normal sugar syrup, but I'm going elderflower sugar because I think that works a treat. There's another bit of elderflower coming at the end, a crazy mixer instead of soda water. 15 ml of elderflower syrup. All right, now we just need to uh, get the muddler out and we just need to get all that zest and all the juice out of the limes. Muddler, don't do that with a muddler. You'll get lime juice in your eye and that freaking hurts, I promise you. Muddler, push down, rolling pin if you're at home. Press down and twist, just like that. Get all that juice and zestiness out of the limes. Perfect. In there for washing up. Next ingredient is your gin. I haven't tried this with Slingsby's uh, gooseberry gin, but you know, that might work. But this is absolutely tasty, taste sensation. It's one of my favorites that Whitney Neal have done actually. Uh, I hope it's limited edition, I hope it sticks around. Anyway, 50 ml, double bubble going in there. Uh, next ingredient is some mint. Now, I've mentioned this a few videos ago, but I've started to grow lots of different types of mint at home. This little crazy bad boy is a uh, mojito mint. And it tastes a little bit, taste, smells a little bit different to a uh, normal garden mint. So this is the first time I've used it. So I'm just going for 10 to 12 mint leaves. And we just, we don't wanna, that's where bartenders go wrong in my opinion. They'll stick in with the limes and the mint and they'll bash it and they'll get all that bitterness out of the leaves. You just want to pick it off and then palm your hand. Really weird, hold that up, really weird sort of leaf shape on there. Anyway, one more for luck. Palm your hand and then we're just going to give it a spank. And that'll just awake the aromas. And they really, I tell you, that really is different. Lovely. Then the final ingredient would traditionally be your soda water. I'm going for this Franklin's and Sons elderflower tonic, but with a hint of cucumber. And I think this works exceptionally well in here. Uh, don't need to measure. What I normally say is uh, half fill your glass liquid wise. Okay. Normally that'll be about 75 mil, depending on the size of the glass. But there we have it. So half fill your glass there with that. I say elderflower tonic water with a hint of cucumber. Amazing. Right, uh, a couple of cubes of ice. Just to start that off, we've got about four cubes of ice. Make that six cubes of ice. We're gonna take a long bar spoon and we're gonna bring the limes and the mint to the top. So just give it a quick churn. Combine all those ingredients together. Perfect. And then all us bartenders, we love our crushed ice. So just top up with your crushed ice. 
amazing and then to garnish obviously hey you could actually stick some gooseberry uh, some um well gooseberries if you've got them that'll be cracking but they're hard to get hold of um you could actually stick some cucumber that's what i was going to say to sort of complement that a little bit more but i've got my other type of mint that's ready at the moment this is apple mint and apple and gooseberry kind of works well as well so just going to wake those aromas so there we have it, kind of a gooseberry and elderflower mojito, but I know you guys at home can help me out with a better name. You must be able to. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. <laughs> oh, the elderflower notes, the gooseberry. That is such a refreshing, I love gooseberries anyway. Do you remember as a kid you used to go gooseberry picking? Oh, just brings back memories. Love that gin. That's why That's why I really do love that gin so much. Kind of brings back those memories. That is amazing. So yeah, if you like if you like me, give me a thumbs up, as I say. Uh, if you want to see more of my content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you don't want to miss a future upload, then ring the bell. YouTube will then you notify you every time I set a new li uh, video live. And then, if you want to be in my gang, if you want to become a legend, uh, check out my Patreon page. It's kind of my membership tiers. Uh, three different levels in there, offering different kinds of membership. My updated cocktail book, my weekly serve um, simple serve suggestions. Uh, and then I've got my whole Learn with STB tier as well. All my online courses have been trans transferred over to there. And links in the show notes and in the pinned comment. Gooseberry, cucumber, elderflower, mojito. <laughs>